Toy Tutorials. What's up guys? Welcome to a very exciting episode of the first Dota video effects tutorial by me, Koi. Um, to begin with, thank you for all the support you've shown, and uh, I can't say no to you. I got some personal messages about uh, making tutorials, so of course I'm gonna make them. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make I'm gonna skip all the basic parts of After Effects, which I'm gonna use in my tutorials. So. Uh, links to some basic. I will post some links to some basic tutorials for you. Uh, actually, at my Facebook fan page because I'm a bitch. <laughs> uh, I don't want to make it hard for you, but uh, I I just actually want to make it easy for you since I really think it will become easier for you if you become a fan of me on Facebook because I can reach out to you in so much uh, better ways. So I'm gonna put all the links to tutorials and uh, downloads, downloading stuff and uh, yeah, everything on Facebook. So make sure to s become a fan and um, yeah the um, thing we're gonna create today is this. Not too special, but uh, it's a good start. Um, what I want to point out to you guys is because all the, all this stuff I show you, uh, I have no problem with you using it however you want. But I want to point out to try to be creative. I I like love to see new creative ways of using um, your your programs used to to the fullest. So j just because I use it in this simple m way doesn't mean you can you should be as simple as I am um, I actually use the same principle in um, principle <laughs> not that word princip <laughs> principle oh my god uh, in my you both the movie and uh, also in my epic um, movie request so um, it's basically lining up a video and a picture and make it work together so um, it's a uh, a very useful effect actually so um yeah let's get started uh, let's make a new go to composition and make new composition or control n i will try to make you learn all the hotkeys here control n and let's name it tutorial 1 yeah and um, this is the preset I use to all my videos almost because I, um, I set my fraps to render uh, to capture the screen at this frame rate so but you can put it at whatever you want but but I used this uh, aspect radio um, because it gives the best HD op options for YouTube yeah and um, yeah 10 seconds seems sufficient I won't need more so let's uh, get to it uh, to import files you can do it in a few different ways the easiest way is just to uh, well the normal way is just to import it here but I just like to double click on this area here and it, it will take you to the um, search engine so I got my files here import and um, yeah the first file I got here is a huge picture of the Dota map uh, it's um, which I found online. So it's uh, like 2,700 frames times 2,700 no uh, pix pixels. I mean, so it's a really huge, uh, which is great. It gives good quality. So I wanna yeah just scale it up a bit. Yeah, one but one tip here. Um, as you can see, I just scale it up and down by dragging the corner here, but it can be quite hard to keep the aspect radio. So, it, but if you hold down shift while doing it, it will lock. So hold down shift, and it's easy to just get it where you want it. Um, now I want to make it in the middle. This part here in the middle. So I'm gonna go here and press title slash action safe, 
and now I can see where exactly where the middle is. To zoom in like that, you just have to, have to use your scroll, by the way. Yep, so like, something like that. Um, and now I'm gonna get my video file. Here it is. It's um, Crystal Maiden Ultimate, straight from a bow. S yeah, if you don't, it's uh, to get it this to get this angle, you need to use uh, Replay Seeker plus the uh, simple cam cameras. But if you I won't make a tutorial on that, you have to figure it out yourself. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> but um yeah, it's um it's basically just from straight from a bow. Um but the problem we have here it's uh, quite hard to make it fit because uh, this these angles here aren't the same as uh, on uh, this picture because this is um actually just uh well, someone clipped together a lot of screenshots straight from a bow. So it's not, per as you can see, like here, it's far from perfect. And actually, I've seen that this angle here is uh, very different from my angle on this part here. So it's it's not the s really the same um, aspect, actually. But it, you can still make it look really good. So it won't be a problem. It would just take... Uh, more time to make. So uh, let's just begin with uh, lining it up. This um, I want to start a clip maybe here. Uh, so I'm gonna take the end here and drag it. And when I want it to, if I want to snap at the red uh, bar here, I just can I can hold down Shift. It will just stay there at the exact frame. So drop it and drag it to the beginning. Hold down Shift and it will snap at the beginning like that. Perfect. Now I'm gonna cut out um, a small area here. Just uh, make it as small as pos possible. It will be a lot easier for you. Yeah, the pen tool is the one you used for custom masking. And it's the hotkey um, G. So use G. And just gonna mask out around this ultimate something like uh, this. I don't need too much. I mean, I'm gonna feather it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I get everything, because it will still look smooth. So, something like that. Perfect. Uh, I don't want to see these yellow bars from the mask. It will make it hard to mask it up, so I can turn it up by pressing this button here. Like that. Perfectly. So, um... Yeah, let's scale it down a bit. Um, a way to um, make it easier to line it up is to lower the opacity of the video. So if you press the video and press T, you get the opacity options. Uh, I'm just going to put it to like 65% um, 60, 60, so now I can see through it and just um, try to make it fit. Uh, rotation is you can ro rotate it in two ways, either by pressing W to get the rotation tool, or just uh, uh, put press the clip here and press R. You get the rotation options. So I'm going to use this one. It's um, easier actually to just slide it up. It um, will probably take some time for me to do this. It's uh, really not that easy to make it fit. Um, you know what, actually I'm just gonna make the opacity 100. I think it will be easier in this, ca this case. Um, so whenever, oh, I want to change the mask here a bit. It's not I can just go in whenever I want to drag some, change the mask a bit. It's not a problem at all. Um, yeah, let's see here. I guess I need to... It's really hard to make it fit since when I make it too small it won't reach the other end of the river. But if I make it too big it won't fit at all. So... I mean, look at this. It's really far from perfect. Let's get it up a bit. 
Now I think we're getting somewhere. This could actually work out quite fine. Um, it doesn't really matter that it's like this. I'm gonna bring back the mask and maybe... Yeah, that's actually even better. So, like that. Looks great there. This is a bit bad, but we can just um, feather it now. So I'm gonna take my video file, and if I press M, I get my mask up. If I press MM, I get my mask properties properties up. So I'm gonna feather it to like um, 40 frames. Yeah, looks great. 40 pixels, by the way. I say frames all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that actually looks um, very good. But we have one more problem. The um, video is too bright. You see the difference here. So to make it look even more natural, we want to make um, go to effect, color cor corrections, and uh, curves. This curve tool is really great in every way. It's one of the things you will use m the most in After Effects. So in the RGB channel, you can basically make it just brighter by p dragging it up, darker, or make some contrast to it. Uh, in other words, the brighter parts brighter and the darker parts darker. Like that. Uh, you have color channels. So if I want to make it red, just drag the red part up. Oh wait, it's lagging for me. Yeah. And if I want to make it purple, I can just mix them up. Red and blue. And it's purple. So, a great tool. But I, what I want to do is really just uh, bring it, it down a bit. Like that. Perfectly. So, now I got my... Um, my clip finished. It's good line. F f well, it's all right. I mean, I can do this for hours and try to make it perfect, perfect. But I, I really think this is okay. So what I want I want to do now is make a quick animation. So I'm gonna pick whip the the picture, the map picture, to the video. So uh, and what this does is whatever I do to my um, my video, the um, map will follow. So if I take this pick whip tool, the parent tool, and drag it to this video, now you can see it, that it's pick whip here to this. And if I take my video and I can scale it up, and the map will scale up too. I can rotate it, and the map will rotate too. So it's really easy. So let's make my clip like maybe four seconds should be sufficient. Uh, so I can drag this here or I can just press N and it will get here. Another good tip. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go to the beginning and put some keyframes at rotation and scale. Rotation R, scale S. Uh, quite logic. So drag it here, hold down shift, it will snap at the end here, and just make a quick animation. Um, let's grab this, scale it up a bit. Something like that. Uh, I'm actually gonna, um, actually gonna make the crystal maiden in the middle, like this. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, now some rotation, R, and just rotate it like this. And uh, this is what we created. Quick, simple animation. You can apply, I mean, you can apply a lot of clips to the same, and yeah, you can, the, the world is uh, the only limitation. Your imagination is the only limitation. You can do whatever you want. So, I hope you learned something from this. If you didn't, I promise you, you will later. <laughs> um, thank you again for being such great fans. And uh, yeah, I will try to um, make it as good for you as possible. Yeah, uh, if, so if you want to request something special, I mean, whatever it is, some tutorial, whatever you want to see, just contact me in any way. I mean, 
write a comment, write a personal message, uh, write on Facebook. I read everything. Send me a bloody text message if you have my number or or stalking me or whatever. Yeah, so just contact me in any way to request and thoughts or what you want to see. And um, I will I will do my best to make all your wishes come true. <laughs> That's all for me today. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed actually. So, until next time, bye guys. <laughs>